I'm making a brand new RuneScape video every single day in March. I'm going to be taking your challenges in game in exchange for RuneScape gold donations. And at the end of the month, I'm giving all of it away. I started the pot off with one bill of my own GP. And trust me when I say, before the end of tomorrow, it's going to be much larger than that. But before I start taking community challenges, I had a bunch of creators give me some of their own. Just quickly before we get in, guys, the one Bill GP I put in for the giveaway this March Madness has more than doubled. That's going to be in tomorrow's video, but if you guys want to be in the running for the giveaway at the end of the month, there's going to be around 25% of it a drop party, and then the other 75 random assortments of giveaways and games for you guys to win GP in. If you want to be part of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and also make sure you're in my Discord. Link to that is down below. And also, ladies and gents, if you want to donate to the pot that we're going to be giving away at the end of the month, Come down to my house in Remington in World 533. I'm going to be live on kick.com forward slash EVscape. 533, four hours after this video goes live at 10 a.m. AEDT. Head inside my house, trade me, verify that it's me on my kick stream, or just use my tip jar. Just make sure it's definitely me when you're trading. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the chat. Okay, so the first challenge we have is from Hootie Tootie. I said, Hootie, I'm doing community challenges in March. But for vid one, I'm getting people to give me one. Give me a fun RuneScape challenge. He said, oh shit, can I think about it? Complete triple jads with a 50k setup? Stuff like that? I said, yeah, stuff like that. He goes, is that a good one? I said, yeah, thanks. So we have to do triple jads with a 50k setup. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, this is our setup. It costs us 40k. Magic Shortbow, Glory, Coif, Black Dehyde. Adamant arrows, 33.5k in the guide risk value. This setup costs 35k. The question is, can we kill triple jazz? I think the answer is no, but we'll find out. All right, here we are. Tizarket Rack's third challenge, 400 adamant arrows, the triple jazz. There's no way I'm hitting right now. This is crazy. Throw a spec in. Did I even range pot? I didn't. Okay, we've got the healers trapped. It's looking good, bruv. It's so hard to see this one behind this one. It's looking good, boys. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. Okay, can't lose concentration now. This is what separates the boys from the men. And I'm not talking about the ban. Damn, I'm actually kind of spliffing this one. I'm giving it the spliffington. And we've done it again. We're good. This should be pretty chill from here. Just got to concentrate. Feels so weird to have the projectiles hit you at the same time. Second jab, nearly dead. And once this goes down, it's just one jab. Because you know what they say about two jads. Once you kill one jad, it's just one jab. The resource situation is looking a bit questionable. I won't lie to you. If I have to start flicking at the end of this, my max hit is a 21, bro. With adamant arrows? That is actually kind of crazy. 50k? How about 35k, Hootie Tootie? Why don't, you, why don't you give me a challenge next time, beast? Oh, I know I just prayed the wrong thing. <laughs> Can you imagine? Gonna get another spec here in a second. Finish that one off. And there we go. Triple Jad's completed with less than 50k gear. It took me 10 and a half minutes, dude. And I got 960 toggle. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. All right, the next one is from Vitozo. He said, 30 minute timer to try and make 250K, but only by selling drops to shops. GP amount has to be exactly 250K. So for example, if you had 252,542, you'd then have to buy things from shops to bring it to exactly down to 250K. Numbers can be altered if you think 250K isn't realistic. I think 250K is realistic. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gents, 30 minutes on the clock. My plan is to barrage neck reels for rune items and sell them to the shops until I get to 250K and then wing it from there. No other plan. So we've got the Max Mage set up. We've got the Din's Bulwark to aggro, the Saturated Fart. And then I've got my other accounts to spec transfer because why not? All right, 30 minutes on the clock. Let's get this party started. Hey, yeet! 
Probably pray melee. Hey, that's a good start. Two rune square shields and two rune meds. Let's go. Timer running? Yes, the timer's running. Timer's running. I'm taking everything here. I'm taking absolutely everything. Law runes, lobsters. Right, that drop alone is probably going to give me what? What's that? 40 ish K? We're already pretty much there. Nothing from the second drop. We got some soul runes and death runes, though. We'll take those. 2,000 coins. No, I can't take the coins because I got to get the GP from shops. Come on, give me some more rune items, dude. We're already five minutes in. Oh, okay, there's a rune axe. That's not bad. There's another med helm. Okay, good, 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 good. There's another rune square. Okay. The question is, how many am I going to need? I don't know how much I can sell these for. I'm pretty sure I can sell them for the low elk value, which means I'm going to need quite a few of these bad boys. More chaos runes. A mystic air staff. Okay. <laughs> Three Addy kite shields. We take those. I'm going to drop these lobsters because I don't need them. They're not going to help me. Another rune med helm. Delicious. And another rune square. Okay. Okay. It's all coming up millhouse here. Another rune square. Oh, this is pogging off like a frog in a foreskin. Trade with Chadwell. Let's sell off the rune squares. 79k. That's it. Oh, okay. So we have to do another trip of this for sure. The shops run out of space. I'm having the worst Christmas. Wait, wait, this could be a good opportunity. Let me just buy a couple of the things. He regularly sells longbows. Really? 172k we managed to get out of that. 173. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I literally just ran back into this room and I was like, oh my God, someone's taken my spot. It's just me on my alts, bro. I gotta stop doing that. Rune chain body. A second rune chain body. Oh my God. I'm getting spizzooned, bro. I think this is overkill. I think we went too far. There's another rune chain. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go to West Arty. Running, running, running. 14 minutes left on the clock. This is the easy part, I think, getting 250k. I think the hard part is going to be getting exactly 250k. Okay, let's be careful not to go too far over. There's 200. There's 227. That will take me to... Wait, wait, wait. This is going to take me to 252. That's too much. That's going to take me to 248. We've got 2992. What's the room boots worth? 6,000. Room med, too much. All right, let's sell one Addy... Yeah, one Addy Kai here. That takes us to 251. All right. Let's go find some shops. I have to get rid of 1,542 GP. I'm going straight to Varrock Center. I know the shop that I want to buy from. Horvick, come here, beast. 2,000 coins. That will take me under by 500. 560. One. What's a bronze? I've just bought them accidentally. Why does my thing say buy 50? Why does my room light set up like that? Oh, that was a close one, dude. 280 coins. That's 213 we're down to now. 750. It's too much. Wait, that's 210. That takes us to 250 and three. And surely over here, surely there's got to be something worth three GP in this shop. One. Wait, I just buy three of these. 250K. Let's go, baby. Come on. And with 12 minutes to spare. Yeah. Come on. And thanks to the exorbitant bond prices these days, I'm 1 40th of the way to my next 14 days of membership. Brilliant. Okay, Mod Ieza has given us a challenge. You have one hour to gather gear and supplies using only the items you gain within that hour to complete a solo expert TOA. You can use items supplied within the raid. And I said, so I can get GP and buy items or I have to make my own. He said, you can get GP and buy items, but you can't trade people. Only use the GE and you have to make the GP yourself. Let's do it. All right, one hour on the clock and from scratch, starting with zero GP, you know exactly where we're going. We're going straight to the gauntlet. I'm going to bash this out for one hour and hope to the good lords I get enough GP to finish an expert TOA. One hour on the clock. Let's get this party started. What? We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> First CG of the day, let's go. Let's give it a crack. First killer CG, nine minutes 30, not bad. Give me something good, come on. Okay, well that's not too bad, right? 98K, we'll, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. Second kill down, 1046. What do we get? What the damn hell is that? How much are we up to? Oh, there's just no way I'm gonna be able to get this done if I keep getting loots like this. I need like a, I need like a weapon seat or something, bro. Give me something. All right, kill number three, kill number three, kill number three. Open the rewards chest. Damn it, man. Wait, two rune shade bodies. That's gotta be worth something. 350K, not bad, not bad, not bad. Kill number three. Come on, give me something good. Armor seed, armor seed, armor seed. Fuck, dude. Wait, how many shards did I just get? Only five. Oh, dragon hellbird. That's really nice, that's really nice. 
We probably got time for one more here. And then I have to go and make the shards into like potions and stuff. All right, that is the fifth kill. And there's no way we're going to be able to squeeze in another one and make the potions. So we got to get this and get out of here. Oh, a weapon seed. Okay, 200k and three rune hellbirds. That is a really nice drop. All right, let's get to the grand exchange real quick. All right, let's quickly sell all this loot off. Oh, wait, let me put this in the bank first. We don't want to get it confused. All right, all the loot's going. Insta selling. Oh my God, 500K? Dude, over a mil? Let's get a pestle and mortar out. Chop up all of these shards. 340 dust. How many potions is that? I'm gonna get my calculator out for this one. 85 potions. Okay, let's do it. I don't have enough for 85. I'm just gonna have to buy 50. All right, another inventory done. Gonna get another 25. All right, here's the last of the super combats. Sell these six off. 1.5 mil, and we still got six minutes. I can definitely do a regular gauntlet kill in that time. Get back there. We got to run. I should have bought some super combat so that I could make them. We might be cutting it close to get back to the GE in time to make the potions. Oh, no. Come on. Regular gauntlet. Let's do it. Come on. Hit. No. No. No, bro. As if I died. Oh, man. 23 silver bars. All right. Let's get to the grand exchange. Sell these silver bars off. And the pestle and mortar. I'm getting every little GP I can. The pestle and mortar won't even sell. 1593K. 1.593 mil. Let's get a gear set up. All right, this is the setup we've gone with here, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, questionable setup to say the least. But here's my mage gear. We've got the trident, the glory. Uh, we've got the range switch here with the uh, rune crossbow. Maybe I should bring an MSB along. I don't know. We're just going to go with the rune crossbow for now. Bone dagger for the special attack. We've got the Keras Partisan for our melee weapon. And some diamond dragon bolts to the switch. The dragon dagger. Oh, this is going to be tough, man. This is going to be tough. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do it, honestly. But we'll give it a crack. We'll give it an absolute fucking red hot crack. Here we go. All right, now the most important part of this is going to be the invocations. I'm going to go ahead and make a party here. We're going to go with hardcore run. We cannot put any on the time invocations because, well, there's no way we're going to do it fast. Uh, walk the path, maybe, could be a good idea. That's going to give us 50 points. Deadly prayers, quiet prayers. We probably can't do any of those either. Uh, we're going to go with overly draining. We don't really have a special attack weapon anyway. That could be 15 points. We'll come back to it. Living larvae for sure. More overlords. There's no way we can do that. Blowing mud. Medic, definitely not. Aerial assault will chuck on. All of the Zabak ones are just fine. We're going to chuck on Stay Vigilant. Feeling special. Mind the gap. Got to have faith, Jungle Japes. Shaking things up. Definitely not Boulder Dash. And then we want to turn on all of the... Okay, so that gives us 315, which means we can turn 15 off. We're going to go and turn off Ancient Haste because that will make the Obelisk... When it's the Obelisk phase, we need as much time as we can get. So we'll turn that off and then we'll turn off Jungle Japes and that gives us 300, and that should do it. All right, the order in which I do the bosses is also important. I think I'm going to start out with the monkey boss and then go into the crocodile boss and see how we go from there uh, because I need the overloads for Akka and Kefri, I think. So let's get in here, get this party started. I think we've done it. All right, not too bad, not too bad. We made it through the monkey waves, and I only had to use one manta ray. I need this bone dagger to hit. And I needed to hit hard. That was the DDS! Lucky I remember how to red X. Come on. Bone dagger sucks when it's not the first hit. <laughs> I've been in the bar bar room for 15 minutes, fam. Help me. All right, there we go. Bar bar, pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna leave the big banana there, all right? I don't need it. We're gonna move forward. On to the back. Big bony D. And then we get some big ruby bolts. There we go. That's a huge one. I'm gonna have to one tick flick this. It's gonna be a long room. Boots come off. There it is. There's a rhubarb. And another one. We're spliffing this. All right. Nice. All right. The croc. Absolutely no troubles. It's all going well so far. But we're about to get to Kefri. This is going to be the hard part. This is going to be the hard part. Okay. I don't think we're going to have any use for liquid adrenaline here. I don't think we get liquid adrenaline at any point. We definitely want the smelling salts though. So as nice as it would be to have an extra ambrosia when we go into the final boss fight have to take the smelling salts here so let's go ahead and open that up 
one of, one of each out, and we're good to go. Now, Kefri's level two here. Should I just go do Akin now so that doesn't level up to level two and then come back to Kefri afterwards? No, I have to do Kefri now because otherwise this defense is going to get too high. All right, Kefri, time to get absolutely fucking fingered, mate. Let's go ahead and pot up. Back. Yeet. A zero. Oh my God. All right, Kefri down. Actually pretty easy. I feel like the hard part has to be coming up, right? This has got to be the hard part. Akka's level two. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Oh no, guys. I'm such a moron. I didn't bring a pickaxe in, which means I have to use... Wait, I don't think I can. No, I can. I already have a pickaxe. Can I drop this? All right. I have a bronze pickaxe. Wait, now I have to put this one back. Okay, I have to do this room with a bronze pickaxe. Brilliant. 13. Oh, I hit 13s? Okay, it's not that bad. Guess it's time to do some fucking butterflying, boys. Eyes wide, boys. Eyes wide. Chilling. We made it. We're good. All right, we got to rush into wardens. I need to use... I, I need to take life and I need to, like, make sure this salt lasts for six minutes. Take life. Let's get the potions out. All right, let's get in there. I don't know what's going to be best on the obelisk here. I think it's probably going to be range. All right, yeah, we're hitting some good numbers here. Ten hit points. Ten hit points. Hit it. Ambrosia. Let's go. Come on. All right. Any purples? Dog shit game, man. Actual dog shit. What do we get? 379k loot. Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. But challenge completed, baby. Come on. All right. Our next challenge comes from Perp. He said, sub bitch, difficulty level. I said, less than one hour to complete. He says, kill the Leviathan without ever stunning it using a shadow spell. If you fail, you must take a photo with a shoe on your head. Now, just to show you guys how difficult this is going to be for me, this is my Leviathan statistics. I have one KC, and that was from the quest. I've never killed this boss before. Let's get in there. All right, I have absolutely no idea what to expect here. Let's just hope my Tebow pops off like a frog in a foreskin. Seems pretty chill so far. This is hard. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How the hell are you supposed to do that? Yes! Come on! Alright! Not bad! Screenshot that one and send it to Perp. Okay, for the next challenge, we have it from Reese, and he says, Get five keys in the wilderness without banking, but if they're below 500k, you reset. Okay, so we have to go for people that look like they're risking more than 500k. Right now, I'm going to be risking too much. Whatever a void wake is worth, minus that from 143. So we're, we're, I'm going to be risking 50 mil going for this. I'm scared, man. I haven't PK'd in so long. I'm definitely going to need some more ice sacks. Ah, uh, why has he done this to me? That's the question. Why has he done this to me? Now, you best believe I'm doing everything I can to avoid PKers, all right? We're only going for big old noobs. Let me get out of the high-risk world. Actually, let me hide my world from my stream right now. Whack! No! Run! <laughs> God damn it! That was three keys, man! That was three keys! Good fight, beast! Let's go! That's one! Wait, I need the supplies. But that guy's gonna kill me, bro. No, 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 We're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine on that. That's okay, beast. No, that's all good. No worries about that. You can have those supplies. You keep them, you keep them. You keep those supplies, bro. I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't need them. 
<laughs> okay, now the question is how the fuck am I supposed to... Like, what now? What? I have one key and no food. Someone did log in! Run, 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 run. Oh, this is not good. I have to die. I'm going to lose my Void Waker. I, I literally don't have restore for this, man. I got one more chance. Freeze! Wait! Log! <laughs> Good fight. No! <laughs> Alright, challenge is over. Thank God. I can get the fuck out of the wilderness and it only cost me 50 mil. The next challenge is from Solo Mission. And he said, kill one of every boss in the wilderness, starting with nothing. Each monster in the wilderness can only be killed once. You can sell any loot you receive from the monsters or bosses to make upgrades to your setup. Wilderness bosses. Crazy Archaeologist, Chaos Fanatic, Scorpia, Chaos Elemental, RTO, Spindle, Calvarion, KBD, Callisto, Venonatus, Vetion. All right, first things first. Let me punch this skeleton to death because I need some bones, baby. Bones. Let me go punch a scorpion as well. See if I can get myself an insult scorpion head. Come on, insult scorpion head. Nothing. God damn it. Okay. What other monsters are there in the wilderness? The bones aren't going to do anything for me. Oh, mammoths. I could go punch a mammoth to death. Here we go. Dude, I'm kind of spliffing this thing, no? Okay, what do we get? Apple tree seed. What's that worth? 8 GP. What's Big Bones worth? 200 GP. Okay. Well, that's not good. I say we absolutely expedite this process. We head straight to the Revenant Caves and punch a Revenant imp to death and hope we get something good. Wish me luck, boys. Bang. Come on. Oh, a Rev Cave teleport. Eight coins. What's this worth? 247 GP. What about the ether? 600, not bad. This goblin's getting it as well. More ether, more coins. Is there another lowish level mob? These are goblins as well, right? Oh, hobgoblins. Can I punch these to death? That's the question. All right, how much is bear meat worth? Shut up. No way. No way, bro! There's no way! What a fucked up day! What a fucked up day! Sell the bear, mate. Sell the bear fur. 1,000 GP. Okay. I had 60 bronze arrows, a magic short bow, and a freaking dream. We're killing that- we're killing that Revenant Hobgoblin. I'm telling you. Yes. Come on, give me something good. That's not good at all. Oh, in fact, I would say that's terrible. How much is that worth? Wait a minute. That Revenant F is 2k. We could get an Arvis and some better arrows. We could get an Arvis and some better arrows. We should definitely do that. Let's get some jug of wine for the food. Can I afford one range pot dose? Not quite. We'll get there. We'll get there. Back to the Rev Caves. That's big. That's big. Let's go. Give me something good. Give me something good. One blighted Karamba one. Oh, this is such a fucked up day. What do we get? Bro, give me something. I'm begging. Two blighted mana rays. Oh, that's not good. That's dead. It's dead. There we go. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Blighted. <gasps> Four black dragon hides. 12k. That's huge. Wait, 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 wait. I have to go sell this off right now. That's massive. This unironically changes everything. Wait, let me safe spot the, uh, let me safe spot the knight first. I might as well just do that while I'm here. Dave me coming back again. All right. Come on. Come on. Double room plate legs. Oh, that is huge. Okay. That is massive, dude. All right. We make a few gear upgrades. We go back. We finish off the dragon, the demon, and the cyclops, and the dark beast. We get out of the rev caves, go to Calvarion. That's the play. Okay. Black dragon hide, selling them off. Double room plate legs. Very nice. Don't need these anglerfish just yet. Get rid of those. Blooded Karam one. Get out of here. What do we got? 93,000 jups. 
That's crazy. 100K! We're over 100K, dude. All right, first things first. I'm sick of walking back to the Grand Exchange, all right? I'm spending 15K on a ring of wealth. Myself some snakeskin boots and a hat. Perfect. And with the last money, we get ourselves a bracelet of Ethereum. Get ourselves a Revenant Teleport. And I'm looking like a bot. 25 I can hit with a magic short bow on rune arrows, bro. Damn, Addy Bars. That's not what you want to say. That's not what you want to say. We'll take the Manta Rays, though. All right. Time to go get the demon and get the Cyclops. Scroto Baggins! <laughs> and Mahogany Blanks! Let's go, dude. Let's go. What do we get? The Cyclops. The last of the revs. Two dragon daggers. I'm such a spoon. I'm actually a spoon, dude. Wait, and we still got one more rev to do. The Dark Beast. Sculling up, boys. Risking it for the biscuit. Rev teleports. Ah, oh, that's no good. All right, let's get the anglerfish. Let's get out of here. We got. We were pretty lucky with these drops, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go. Grand exchange. Oh, we're actually stacked. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. We're actually stacked. All right, after everything's sold off, another 68K. Let's get rid of the bracelet of Ethereum as well. Okay, I still have my little range set up. I'm going to keep the black dehyde. Let's go ahead and sell off the magic short bow for now. Let's get ourselves a dragon mace because we're going to be going to Calvarion. All right, we are all set now for Calvarion. I've got the dragon mace and a small melee setup. I've got all the, uh, all the range stuff still in the inventory for later when we go to the range bosses. But uh, I think there's a pretty good chance we can kill Calvarion here and probably a good chance we can kill Vedion as well. But I don't know if I want to travel up there. Let me have a little peek. I can't peek. Let's just enter. I don't even know what to pray against this thing. Oh, someone else is killing it, man. He teleported. Free smoke. No way he just hit the ice spice. <laughs> oh my God, I'm spliffing it. All right, give me a good drop. Make this worth my while. Ranging potions and 12,000 coins. All right, well, I guess I take the range pots and I'm going to make my way up to Vedion now because I think I can kill Vedion like this. I think I can. Okay. Yep, nice. What do we get? Blood runes? Oh my god, that is juicy. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go sell this loot. I keep forgetting I come through these caves, man. Okay, 169,000 GP. The other bosses we have to kill are Callisto, Venonata, Spindle, Cal uh, Audio. Chaos Elemental, Scorpia, Chaos Fanatic, Crazy Archaeologist, King Black Dragon. I think while I have this melee set up, I'm going to go do the Chaos Elemental because I can safe spot that. And here we are, as easy as you like, the Chaos Elemental, flinching. We're going to be here for a while. There we go, Chaos Elemental down and a Rune Plate Skirt. Oh my days. All right, Rune Plate Skirt in the bin. We've got 200K now. Now I believe... I could be wrong, but I believe I'm supposed to kill Spindle and Venonatus with melee as well. So I think we make some upgrades to the melee set. Let's get a Nata's Not Hell. And we'll grab ourselves some climbing boots as well. All right, that should be good. Let's go have a sniff on Spindle. On. One more hit. There we go. Spindle down. What do we get? Rune Knives. Oh, that's not a good drop. That's not a good drop at all. But I'm pretty confident I can kill Venonatus now. These wilderness bosses are easy, dude. Okay, Venonatus. Let's see if it's just as easy as Spindle. Yes! I had nothing left in my inventory. Uncut diamonds. Very nice. Let's get the damn hell out of here. Okay, this is the gear setup we've ended up with for Artio and for Callisto. This should be enough to freeze the boss, and then my range gear should be enough to kill it eventually. We just have to kill it eventually, you know? All right, what do we get? Something good. A Void Waker gem? No. It's Chaos Runes and six Blighted Karambuans. Well, I'm gonna eat those, and then we're gonna go kill the Big Bear. Okay, there we go, there we go. What do we get? Something nice. Snappy D seeds. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Eight snappy D seeds. See you later. How much? <laughs> oh my God. 
We're stocked up, dude. We're, that's it. It's over. All right. Let's get Mystic's Mystic Bottoms, a Trident, and let's go kill Scorpio. And then we can kill Chaos Fanatic. And then we can do Crazy Archaeologist. And then it's just KBD. All right. Let's go to the Crazy Arc. I think, is it the Crazy Arc or the Chaos Fanatic? Which one is this? It's the Crazy Arc. Okay, what the damn hell is a muddy key? Okay, Scorpia, this is simply a formality at this point. Scorpia is going to go down quicker than a slut on a Saturday night. And there we go, Scorpia is down. Just two bosses to go. Let's head over to the Chaos Fanatic. Finish him off with range. And the Chaos Fanatic goes down for some blood runes. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And now just one boss remains. And there it is. The KVD is down. Solo missions challenge is complete. We get ourselves 300 air runes for our trouble. And we get the damn hell out of here. Our gear setup's worth 500k. That's how much money we made from killing every single boss in the wilderness. A single time. That's actually not too bad. Okay, our next challenge comes from Megan. She said, does it matter if it's only one account? And then she said, bro, you know I'm not good at YouTube. And she said, teach Ditter Bitter how to tob. I was like, bro, I already did that. Then she said, it would be kind of sick if you did one where you take four people from your Discord to a raid and then make a funny vid about it. Then people will want to join your Discord more. Then she continued to give me more ideas and I just said, stop, stop, this is good enough. I'll take four people on a raid. Instead of taking people from the Discord tonight, we're going to be taking people from the Kick Chat. If you haven't been down to the Kick Chat, get on down here. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go do a nice chill raid with the boys. <laughs> All right, we've got a couple of people from the kick chat coming down. We've got Big Tripper. We've got What RNG. And then in comes UCN with the D Maces, the crush weapon. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that's all gone off without a hitch. And we've made it to Ulm within 10 minutes. It's so much better than a mega scale, man. I've just saved so much time. Just a couple of boys prepping some potions together, you know? Just a couple of dudes having some fun. Just a couple of guys. <laughs> Wait, that's a code I3. This motherfucker trying to make his own overload and fucks it up. All right, we're ready. Dude, it feels like the old days, man. We are just sat here waiting for everyone to be ready. We've got our pre-ports on the ground. Oh, feels like 2019 again, dude. Take me back, man. Take me back. The Warped Scepter! He's got a <laughs> The Warped Scepter. His melee weapon is a star for the dead! <laughs> I fucking love this guy, man. <laughs> Good luck. Mine's white. Did anyone get a purple? Aw, oh, man. No purple. That's a sad ass game, bro. That's a sad ass game. And you absolutely have to hit a TYFR. That was good. That was fun. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is all of the creator challenges done. I'm going to be doing community challenges from this point onwards all throughout March. We'll be taking donations in game in exchange for your challenges. So if you want to give me a challenge and get yourself in a video, I'm going to be live on kick.com forward slash EVscape four hours after this video goes live for a few hours in the morning. Just to give you guys some examples of what we've got coming up, Minkapels donated me five mil and asked me to do a budget corp kill. We had Pons donate 15 mil and asked me to kill the rabbit boss. Nick donated 20 mil and asked me to do one hour of barrows on all 10 of my accounts. Anything you can think of, any amount of GP you want to give over, Let's do it. And guys, please make sure you verify that it is actually me that you're trading on my live stream before you trade any GP over. People will be trying to pretend to be me to get your GP. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Take it easy. Call me. Man, try beef my doggy. Warzone thing, how come for